Okay, so, oh, should wait for the program to respond. It actually went uh, crazy. So I took notes. Okay. Look at me. Uh, I, I done my homework. Now this time, since I thought sometimes in our games, for some godforsaken reason, we need pen and paper. I have a pen. And I have a little uh, notebook with plenty of paper, which I'm going to use from now on every time I need to write down something. Instead of like scrapping any piece of paper that is nearby and maybe some weird post-it, maybe a freaking paper towel or something like that. Um, okay, so where is it? RimWorld. Aha! Okay, first thing. Let's lower the music. So, what is new in this mod pack that we are about to play? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have a list here of things that we can do. So, the most important thing is the HP Lovecraft Storyteller. Alright. I think if we make a new colony, crash land it, we can have him. There he is. So protagonists often, often face their own mortality and insignificance in the universe. Threats to your colony and its sanity will be constant. Can your colony survive a cosmic horror tale? Well, I guess we'll find out. So that's um, the storyteller, H.P. Lovecraft. <laughs> he's, he looks weird. I'm not going to lie. He looks a bit weird. Um, we have a Call of Cthulhu mod with a bunch of monsters, a bunch of factions, Lovecraftian factions. And uh, you can start your own cult with finding your own gods and building statues and temples and whatnot. So that's the entire thing. Then we have something called the Rim of Madness, which uh, adds bones in the game. Humans, animals, anything that has a skeleton will drop bones when killed and butchered. And you can use it as a substitute for wood for most things. Then we have Magic. That's right, we have 21 magic classes. His uniform looks like a Nazi, which I suppose it makes sense. Yeah, it was kind of, um, uh, you know, he had polarizing ideas, even at the time. 21 magic classes, all with their spells and their equipments. Uh, we have bees. We can make bees and honey and mead and other things that comes from bees. We have slaves. We can create shock collars like in um, Fallout and enslave people, make them work for us. Uh, there's a mod that's bioreactors, so you can power your base using living and breathing things. You can just stuck them in a tub and, uh, well, a tube and power your base. There's bear and wolf farmers. There's color-coded mood, apparently. Uh, we have fridges to save and conserve our food. We have inventories with a proper RPG um, UI. There's uh, prosthetics we have. You can, we can make all sorts of prosthetic and cybernetic arms and organs. Animal bionics as well. We have sidearms. So one thing that always bothered me about RimWorld is that you can just equip your main... Or weapon and then that's it if somebody comes to you in melee you pretty much die because you can't shoot in melee range but sidearms add a little bit of a um, you can have a, a side an arm a weapon on the side just pull it out anytime which is really nice give like knives and swords and maces to your uh, gun people uh, there's a mod that allows you to repair item durability instead of just trashing them and building new ones every time there's embrasures for the fences. You can build these small walls where you can just put your guns in the holes and shoot the enemies, which makes a lot a bit easier defending your base. Um, there's more joy activities. There's better tiers of batteries, so you can store more power. And the batteries don't break as often as well. There's industrial era furniture, so we can make like some cool steampunky looking things that should be working well with the uh, Lovecraftian theme, I guess. 
we have faction interactions. We can have cross-faction marriages. Apparently, we can decide to have some of us, some of our colonists, marry some random people to, you know, increase um, faction policy, po politics and all that. Um, we have prisoner ransom. You can imprison people and sell them or, you know, just give them back for a price. We have hospitalities. We can create like a, a, a little hotel, really. You can recruit visitors, have them pay for staying in your colony. They can pay for like food and things that you can sell to them. We have a button that saves the defensive position of all your colonists. Which is really nice. We have mount combat now. We can ride big animals. It's really cool. Especially considering we have like all sorts of magic beasts. Specifically 50 plus new animals including magic ones. Then we have a mod called Rimkia. Which is Ikea for Rimworld. that adds a bunch of furniture. We have uh, book writing as a new skill to reduce sanity loss. And then we have a bunch of solution for storage called deep storage units. There's like fruit, f food baskets, and I don't know, there's like pallets and stuff like that. So yeah, a bunch of those things. Anyway, before we continue, I'm gonna finish making my tea. What's the other Lovecraft? Oh, it just increases the no the maximum population that you can have. I don't know which is the normal cap for your colonist, but in case you want to make a bigger cult, this doubles it. I guess we can find out what's the. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm not looking at the monitor right now, but I guess we can Google how much how many colonists you can have on a normal run. Like on a Cassandra classic, let's say. I think I fucked up. I forgot the pl the little plate. Ah, so how am I gonna do this? Okay, we're gonna do this very quickly. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh, come on. That's right. Yep, this works, I guess. Very carefully, very gently. And there we go. Oh man. Some good old chamomile licorice. It's so good. Okay, here we go. Alright, let me put this away in the trash can and then we are good to go oh also i have my new mugs oh the, the, these things are really good i'm starting to use these mugs for literally anything like i have three of them there's one for water one for teas one for chamomile it's like oh it's so good they're very sturdy they have a very good grip they store a decent amount of liquid the only problem they have is that they're pitch black which sometimes makes it harder to see how much um, <laughs> how much stuff you have in there, but that's fine. Rimworld Cassandra Classic Max Colonists. Mm, these are old things. Isn't that like a wiki colonist cap? Something like 20. Some people had over 20. You can have over 50 if you do a, a randy. I think 20 colonists is going to be too many. So it, we're fine with going for the normal Lovecraft, I think. Alright. We need a good seed name. Now, obviously, I would like to call it Cthulhu. But can we find a more obscure Lovecraft reference? While I stir my tea. Should we call it Relay? Isn't that the name of the... Um, the city? 
the upside down. <laughs> to, to be fair, the upside down is kind of Lovecraftian. I'm not gonna lie, it it could be something from Lovecraft. How do you spell relay? I think it's early like this. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with the rest. Hey, by the way, Graven XP, how are you doing? See, I'm already a lot more relaxed compared to the other game that we were playing. <laughs> There's gonna be another game that shall not be named. Oh, look at this. So we have a faction called the Agency. It's the Department of Cultist Investigations. These people will get angry when you start your own cult. Oh, man. Let's see. Look at that. That looks evil. So where do we go, guys? Do we go somewhere hot? Do we go somewhere cold? What is that even? Camp Monroe, Fashion Fourth Infantry Division. We have Innsmouth. Oh my god. Okay, we need to settle near Innsmouth. Alright, let me see. This is like... Wow, this is pretty cold though. Look at the temperature. The average is minus one. We're never going to be able to grow anything in this place. I think we're going to have to go further south, unfortunately. What is this? Small hills, large hills. Average is 11. It goes from minus 6 to 30. Mm. Can we go a little bit south then? Impassable. Ooh. Oh, by the lake? Should we should we settle by the lake? In a monta mountainous temperate forest. Near Lake Hus. And next to the Kaul. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'd say if the game allows me to, I will settle right next to the lake. Uh, I did prepare my colonists in advance. So I try to make them not suck too much. And I rolled randomly until they had something that can be used. So Pandora has a bunch of construction, artistic, medical and intellectual. Which means she's going to be mostly dedicated on research medicine. And she's going to be our main builder, hopefully. She is 44, chemical fascination, undergrounder, and she is straight with no health injuries. We have Crane, which is going to be our enforcer, although he's kind. Which kind of sucks for somebody that should be shooting people. He's a hard worker and he's too smart. He's got a scar on his left arm. Look at this guy. Uh, he's got a little bit of shooting, but it, not much. But he has a double passion, so he's going to grow fast. He's, he's good, a good builder. He's got a double passion in mining and cooking, so he's probably going to be our main cooker. And also, he's got a little bit of crafting, which is not bad. And, you know, fine medical. It could be a side doctor in case Pandora gets um, injured. And then we have Magnus. This is going to be our cult leader. He's a fast learner. His magically gift is by... Well, I mean, his business, I guess. And he's got an old gunshot to the left leg. He's very, very social. This is why I chose him to be the cult leader. Because he's going to do the, the church and the speeches and everything. He's good at shooting. And he's decent at planting. A little bit of everything, but nothing, nothing too bad. So, yeah, I think it's fairly balanced, yes. So, we're going to choose them. and Oh, one thing I changed, though, manually. I removed the steel knife. Uh, the plasteel knife, and I made a plasteel cold Chris. You know, just a flavor choice. Since we technically are about to start a cold, I thought that a cold Chris would be ideal. Are you sure that you're finished? Yes. Alright. So the mod 
the mod pack that we're using is a variation of the Magic Mayhem version 5 mod. Need a call, Chris, that's not a call for sure. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if I can use it for sacrifices, but that's my hope. Okay, let's pause and take a look at the map. Oh, I like this mountain range already. Look at this, it's beautiful. Okay, okay, we have some bees. There's some steel down here. Is this the ancient danger? No, it can't be, right? It's usually stuck in a mountain or something. Huh, interesting. Looks like somebody already done some digging around here. You know what? I kind of want to settle in here, because this looks like a tentacle monster. <laughs> Which it would be very fitting for my Cthulhu cult. Uh, what do we have? Wildlife. Megaslot wargs. Foxes. <gasps> There's a housekeeper cat. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have housekeeper cats. So you can tame these things and they will do cleaning around your house. Which is really nice. Or is it this the ancient danger? You know what? I think it might be this one. So... Where am I gonna settle? You added a Neko made mod? It, no, it was already in the mod pack. But you know what? I don't mind it at all. Also, it's not a maid. It's it's literally a cat. It's just a cat. It, it's more like a Roomba, you know? A cat Roomba. A Kroomba. Hmm. I kind of like this section. Yeah, this section seems really nice. I don't know if I could block this off. But my idea here is... We're gonna block this. We're gonna create a tunnel under here. Okay, can we can we do some um, planning? Where was the planning thing? Oh, sorry, it's been a while, by the way, since I played Remorld, so I don't remember exactly everything. There we go. So if we can do something like this, and then close this off, we can have a tunnel here. So anybody spawning on this side would just you know, find the right way across and go over. And we can prepare our defenses somewhere around here. And we can then lock this off as well. And then we have all this area for our base, including the inside of the mountain, which is really nice. Uh, what about soil? Can we take a look at the soil quality? How do I do that? I completely forgot. Um, is it in planting? Where is it? Production? No. Fuck, I forgot everything about this game. It's in the zones. It's not. Is it? Does anybody know? Does anybody remember how to check these things? Show heat map. Modern resource. Oh, there we go. Soil. Fertile, 100%. So this is all fertile soil. All of it is fertile. That's good. Okay. So, for the time being, I think we can set up in here. Because that's pretty much already um, done room. So, the first thing we're going to do is go in here and make sleeping spots for our people. Yes, that's right. And then we'll see where we land and uh, we're going to make a stockpile zone or something. All right, all right, guys. So, who's the best shooter we have? That's a yikes, but it's Magnus, I guess. Okay, so can I just unforbid everything? I'm gonna allow everything. Okay, he's sitting on the... Okay, Magnus, you know what? No, Crane, you're in the way. Crane? Crane, just... Jesus Christ, Crane. Oh, and we have a pet lizard, or a gecko, or whatever, I don't know. 
All right, Magnus, equip the bolt action. Crane, you get a shooting as well, so get a gun. Pandora, do we have a knife? Are we supposed to have a knife or something? Oh, it's not here. Oh, flipping heck. All right. Pandora. Grab the cold, Chris. Right, then dress up as you like, and we're going to set up something around here. Stockpiles. That's the first thing we need is a decent stockpile to store our stuff. So we're going to make a stockpile zone over here for now. Which you can probably roof, because it's close enough to these structures, I guess. We can claim this as a base. Yeah, it's already claimed. That's pretty nice. For now, we're going to allow everything in there, except corpses, I guess. All right, let me also speed things up. Um, right, all this allow, allow the wood... Then we... I saw some food over here, yes. So, one thing we need probably right away is... Um, some sort of... I don't know, any kind of food that is not these very valuable packaged meals. So, why don't we plan around a little bit. Okay, for now we're still there. I might just use the side of the mountain already. Look, this is a very nice slate wall that we can probably continue. Where's my... Uh, okay, so if we do something like this... Can we block this off for now? Like this? Yeah. Okay, so my idea is the cult leader is going to have like a big majestic bedroom with a bunch of high grade furniture but for the rest of the cultists I want like I mean something nice but not too spacious and not too individualized you know we want them to be in like a barrack or something so yeah, and then we want a kitchen. We could start already making this into um, a little kitchen area. So we're going to plan it like this. Um, that's going to be my wall. That's going to be the kitchen. We could start doing things over here. Look, we even have this, which could be useful for power at some point. Although I don't want to use geothermal. I want to use people power. So that's a kitchen. We can start carving some bedrooms maybe right in here. Like something very... Mm, that was not what I wanted. Something like a three. No, no, no. Actually, that, that was fine, I think. It's going to be like this. Yeah, a little bit three by three. Is it too much? Is it too little? That's going to be fine by me, I think. And then this is going to be like this. Wait, not too big. Fuck it. No, wait, it was right. Never mind. <laughs> already, already I'm screwing this up. Then we're going to move the stockpile. I think I'm going to use this area as my storeroom. So we can probably extend this like here and do something like this. So this could be my storeroom. And we can start having fields around here. For now, I think that would be the ideal wall to have. But for now, we're just going to lock it in place like this. Do we need anything else? We have the kitchen. Oh, we need a living room. We definitely need a living room. Uh, we could put it... Mm, down here, maybe. No, it needs to be closer to the kitchen, I guess. We could have it, like, adjacent to the actual kitchen. Or we could have, a, like, a bigger freezer, a walk-in. We can have a butcher table right there and a, or a stove and then the actual freezer in here. Right, next thing we need is... Um, oh, actually, I'll tell you what we need. 
So these people are going to work like this. Then we're going to have some recreation. That should be fine for now. We can set a better schedule after. And also, where's my... There we go. The priorities. So everybody firefight. Everybody patient. Pandora is going to be my main doctor, I guess, for now. Uh, let's have bed rest on two. Everybody haul when available. Basic for now. Nobody does that. No magic for now. We don't have anything. Magnus is going to be our warden. Also, he's the only one that can somehow handle animals. So I guess he's going to do that. Entertainer as well. Yeah, sure. Cooking. Cooking is going to be done by Crane. Everybody should do a little bit of hunting on a very low priority. Construction. Of course, Pandora, you're my main constructor. And Crane, you're my secondary. Magnus is going to do the growing for now. I guess Pandora can help if she doesn't have anything else to do. Uh, mining. Wow, you guys are really bad at mining, but I guess I can set you up for it. Plant cutting. It's going to be done again by Magnus and by Pandora. Actually, I should probably have it to one. Crane is our smither and a tailor. That's a bad combo. We probably want somebody else that can do one or the other at some point. Pandora's going to be the artistic one. Crane is also the crafter. Man, he's going to be a busy guy. Beekeeping for now, no one, I guess. Hauling, cleaning, and research is going to be done by Pandora. Right. Right, good. You guys go ahead and start with that. Gonna need some growing zone, I guess. Let's make one right here. Let's start with something nice and easy. I think we're gonna start with some taters. Yeah, taters are fine. Unfortunately, we can't have heal root yet because we don't have anybody with a decent enough uh, skill. So, we can, however, do a little bit of cotton. And I guess we can do, like, a little bit of corn. Just a little bit. And there. Alright. Obviously, we're going to need some more room for stockpiling, because there's a lot of trees around here. Right. So, what are we going to do? We're going to just start cutting down some trees. Holding some of these, maybe. Okay, we need a stone cutter table. Man, we need so many things. Okay, let's just chop down some trees, I guess. And, um... Oh, you know what? Bone china wall? We could deconstruct it. Or install it somewhere else. In fact, I'll tell you what. Let's install it. Oh, wait. Reinstall right there. So at least we have that. And then we can make a door right there. Uh, where are doors again? Are they not in furniture? Floors? No. Ship? Ship? Structure. Of course it's structures. God, I... I'm so rusty. Alright, let's do some plant cutting, I guess. Orders. Chop wood. All the way in front of my house, for now. And possibly in the fields. Oh man, this is re so relaxing. We can just sip our tea while we watch these people going around their lives. We want some power very soon. I think we're going to go with wind power for the time being. And a trick, a nice trick that I saw people using is 
Building like oh the wind turbine on top of the fields. Because apparently it doesn't disrupt them. You can actually overlap it. I don't know if we can overlap like the front or the back. But I guess this should work. The problem is we need components. We don't have components? Wait. Leave them behind. Oh, what's that? Silver. Oh shit, that's a gold. Ah, those are the components. There we go. We have a bunch. Who is not equipping... What? Guys! What is this? Why are you not equipping stuff? Magnus. Shoot. <sighs> what are the policies for, like... Um, clothing, sign, outfit, anything. What what temperature is it, by the way? Twenty one. Oh, that's really nice. Should I force equip them? You know what? You're gonna you're gonna equip all those, Magnus. Also, we probably need to haul urgently. Components and everything else, you know? And the steel. Oh, man. Need the steel. Right. What do we have? What's the problem here? What the fuck just happened? My gecko has died already. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> Did I even play for five minutes? Oh no, the ferret! A ferret killed my gecko! God damn, I forgot about the animal policy. The oh. Well, rip. Rip my gecko. Didn't even have a name. Oh, man. Well, somebody's going to be mad about it. By the looks of... Okay, so if you look up here, where my people are, you can see there's a green background that is filled to some degree. That is their mood. So the lower it is, the worse it is. And Magnus just went down a couple of notches, so... I'm going to guess it was his gecko. Um, actually, nobody gives a shit about the gecko. They are angry that they don't have a table. You know what, guys? I understand, absolutely. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start giving you something to do over here. So I'm going to give you a stone cutter table. We can put it right here for now, I guess. We can make a little stockpile area for tiles. Uh, buildings? No. Chunks? No. Is it buildings? Production? No. Where is like floors? Manufactured? Beekeeping, definitely not. Raw res Wait, is it raw? No, it's not a raw resource. Stone blocks? Oh, I guess so. Is it blocks though? Buildings, chunks. It's not chunks, chunks are the big ones. I guess it is. Furniture? It cannot be furniture, no. Production? No. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna try it like this. Let's see if it works. In the meantime, I'm gonna make uh, something. Walls. Dude, what if... There's a ferret killing a hedgehog right in my place. And an order. 
that just came in to stop. What the fuck is going on? This is some Animal Planet bullshit. Okay, you know what? Crane. Just hunt. Magnus. Magnus. Crane, are you shooting? Crane. 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 I swear to God, if I'm gonna get killed by another, okay, there you go. <laughs> right, I guess we need a place to store some food for now. I guess it's gonna be. Uh, no place is really good here, so. I say for now, I'm gonna allow. Uh, food. Raw meat, raw food, there you go. <laughs> okay, so that was the thing. Anyway, uh, somebody start making blocks, please. What do we have available? There's granite, I do like the granite. It has a real auto revenge. Oh, he's dead, never mind. Uh, we have a lot of granite, a lot of slate, there's a lot of sandstone as well. Okay, well, let's make those for starter. Sandstone, granite and slate do, I guess, forever. For now. Um, how did it work again? The details, was it? You can set the area. Yeah. So, from what I gather, if you set this area, instead of, like, going around the entire world to gather ingredients, it's gonna just check in nearby stockpiles. So if you go details here, you can set ingredient radius, and look, it's something a bit more sensible, I guess. Alright. So, we need to start making some sort of walls. We don't really have a lot of wood, do we? Well, actually we do. What the fuck is the ferret doing? Is he eating my food? Oh my god, we need to make a freezer or something. Okay, look. This guy is making sandstone. Great. So we can start planning some sandstone walls. Over here. And then here, and then like this. Actually, this probably cancel for now. Cancel. Hey, Thorvald, thank you very much for the host. How are you doing? Let's make these ones. Should I make the kitchen, like... Yeah, let's make a... Let's connect them. Why not? No sound on Streamlabs? Oh, I heard, the, I heard the sound on my end. Did it not play for you? No. Hang on a second. Oh my god, you can't hear the- oh, I muted the game. You can't hear anything, even about the game. Oh, for the love of god. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm not really in any shape to do anything today. <laughs> Forgive me. Holy crap. Okay. We need some sandstone. Is this sandstone? Yeah. Can we just haul urgently? Although it's late, maybe we should go you guys should go to sleep. If we get what is Crane doing? What are they actually doing? Mm. 
That was very weird. All right. Anyway, uh, now you can hear stuff, music, right? And possibly the widget alert. Let me see. How do I um? How do I make it happen again? Like that. You hear that? Oh, yes. All right, let's place a turbine right here. Uh, can we extend this? Shrink zone, expand. Yes, this one. And this one by one as well. Oh, not what I wanted to do, but you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> it's just there. Need a meal source? Yeah, I know. I know we do. Uh, in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is... I'm gonna prepare to build the conduit. Okay, that is actually... Should they make waterproof ones? Probably. At least for the exterior here. You're off again. Have fun. Thank you very much, Thorvald. You have a good day. Oh, never mind. Uh, these are fine. These are actually okay. So I'm just gonna run them through the wall, I guess. Good night. See, uh, th this is what I'm talking about, guys. I am not in any condition to do anything. I should just go to bed and shut my eyes and my brain. And not just for tonight, probably for about a month. <laughs> well, I'll do what I can, okay? <laughs> Alright, so where do we put the freezer? Okay, oh. Visitors have arrived. Refuse visitors until I have guest beds. Because otherwise, we they, they will be just mad at us. <laughs> okay, I guess that works. Then we could have some... Uh, what do we have here? Granite. Okay, we can have some floors made of that. Uh, floors. Oh, and we have new floors, by the way. New tiles, new floor types. Look at this. Oh, look at all these. It's straw, stone slabs, rough paving, hex paving, mosaic, random paving. Let's do random paving granite for the inside of our freezer for now. Or do we want to... No, let's, let's go with slabs. Let's go with slabs. Also, maybe, can we mine these, um, these things right here? Yes. We need some doors. Do we have bones? We should probably get some bones. Uh, I'll tell you what, then. Where's the kitty cat? Can we tame the cat? Oh, it's right there. Is it hard to tame? Oh, it's not very hard to tame. All right, I'll tell you what, Magnus. Tame. Cannot prioritize. Animal not allowed in mod options. Oh, cannot tame. No usable food. Oh shoot, we need to make food, huh? All right, then I'll tell you what. Let's make um. Let's make a butcher table. What do we make it? Outside here? For now? I guess so. So the butcher table right there. And... Uh, do we have like a cooking... A stove? A 
fueled one? Or an electric one? I guess that's fine. Can make it right there, right? Then if we can make doors... If I remember where they are... Uh, let's... Let's start with some... Granite doors, I guess. There. 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 And there. And this should do for now. There's a dead chipmunk that we can probably chop up. Ah oh, yes, look at these people working. My little bees. Not actual bees, you know, the, there is actual bees. In fact, there's a beehive right there. Look at that. A polar tr a po sorry, a poplar tree with a, with a hive. Lovely. Uh, my power generation is not going to be good for a while. I guess a group of travelers from the Confederacy of NADO are passing by. Oh, are they? What the fuck are they? Oh my god, why is it so laggy? Jesus Christ. Oh, it looks like you've been here for a while. Crane thinks that you should give your faction a name. Okay, my faction is going to be... The almighty? No, that's a bit too much. What are we gonna call ourselves? A Our cult. The cult of... <sighs> no, that... <laughs> no, we need to... Well, well... We could be called. You know what? Let's go with the followers of the tentacle. I'm sure that's fine. And our place is, of course. Yeah. What is the H? There? <laughs> is that the right H? Yes, that's the right H. Alright, cool. Which is the name of my settlement. Perfect. The followers of the tentacle. Ah, yes. Don't worry, we will have many, many tentacles. Not even joking, you can do a ritual to... Switch a limb of one of your colonists with the tentacle. Just saying. Of course, you have to worship the almighty Cthulhu for that, but I'm sure that won't take long before it happens. <laughs> Alright, we might want to build some accommodations for these fools. Should we build it in here, maybe, instead of there and use that as a... Uh, yeah, tell you what. yeah, I like that idea. We need more blocks, though. We need more blocks. I like how I actually went for the floor in my freezer before going for anything else. Um, Alright, we can stop butchering stuff. Butcher! Forever. For now, I guess. Pandora, can you make that, please? There you go. And that one, too, please. Alright, great. Now, can you make the cooler and the door so... We don't have granite. Oh, shoot. It's late. Granite. Oh, we do have it. Haul urgently, please. Because then my meat is not going to spoil. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, let's start freezing this place. Wait. Minus seven. Yeah, that's a good freezing temperature. We just need the door and we're good. So Pandora, if you could please make the door, that would be swell. Because then we can start storing all the food in here. 
all foods. In fact, every single food. No rotten. How's the temperature in there? Four, three, two, one, two, one, zero, one, minus one. There we go. Now that there's a door, it's down to minus six, seven. Perfect. That it should be frozen and it won't spoil. So I'm hoping that tomorrow this is going to have a higher priority, I guess. Uh, let's say priority preferred. Oh, look, we have animal bones. Oh, here we go. This is where it all begins. All right. Let's make a table. Maybe. Rimkia. Uh, how do we make a table? Like a normal table. Furniture, probably. I need a... I need a... A one-by-one one table? I don't think people want to eat in a one-by-one one table. Probably. Oh my god, look at that, mm, the giant couch that you can have. That's amazing. Ooh, dining chairs. Oh, that's nice. Um... A counter? No. Wait, is this all the tables we can have? Come on, I thought we had more... More things. Oh, I guess there's a wooden table here. Can we make it out of bone? I need 50 bone, though. It's a good starting table, though. Oh, night. Uh, I forgot we need... You know what? That's a kitchen. Yeah, I'll, I'll make this one into uh, temporary storage, then. Uh, let's make this one. Stockpile for... Manufactured, I guess. Raw resources. No, not manufactured. Oh, in fact, I, uh, we need to allow medicine and drugs in the freezer for now. We'll make a. We'll probably make a portable freezer for medicine near my hospital once I have one. But for now, let's make items and resources and weapons and up. Corral. And uh, let's leave the chunks out there, I guess. Oh, you tell you what, though. Let's only allow non shit stuff. 51%. There you go. And uh, can we have not tainted apparel? No rotten. Apparel. Uh, allow tainted. No, thank you. Not for now. Okay, so we have a decent... Can we hunt something? Alpacas? I feel like alpacas will kill me if I try... Oh, no, they won't! Okay, I'll kill alpacas. And... Um... What the fuck is the robot? Housekeeper cat. Fuck, we need to train it. We need to move before something hunts him down and kills it. Pandora, can you prioritize the stove? Please. I promise I will give you beds soon enough. But like, we need some things to get going. Like, a bunch of simple meals. Let's do... Uh... I would say let's have let's have five meals per colonist at all times. How about that? Let's make them Yeah. All right, so somebody should now start cooking, hopefully. Oh my god, look at Crane. He is. Why are you guys not hauling these things, by the way, in the freezer? Okay, let's move the medicine. This and this. Wait, what is this? Various. Rainbow petals. What the fuck? 
Pandora. Can you guys not move these? Fall urgently. Yes, okay. They're moving in, them in there. Major break risk on almost everybody. Pandora has begun obsessively writing pages of strange symbols. Hmm. You don't say. Pandora? What are you doing? What the hell is this? I have looked upon all that the universe has to hold of horror. And even the skies of spring and the flowers of summer must ever afterward be poison to me. Okay. She is tense. Something isn't right. It's all starting. So this is how it begins. Yeah. Pandora has no memory of the writing that is still slightly dampened from the sweat of the labors. It is a ghastly book filled with a strange alien language that is not readily understood. The ominous looking diagrams of ritual sacrifices and spell within the tome as some colonists unnerved by its occult nature, whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research center to further study the secrets held within. Ooh, neat. All right, what's my um, roof? Let's have a roof. Over here, yeah, and possibly over here. No, no, no that's fine. Uh, maybe over here, though. Oh my god, look at that! What the fuck is that? Grimoire of the Occult. I can use it to build a research occult research station. Oh, okay, we need a church. You know what? I think this big building here is gonna be our church. At some point. Oh man, it's already starting. Yeah, I'm gonna leave these as the bedrooms. We need more bones. We need more bones. We need to start building stuff out of bones. Why is... Wait, who doesn't have pants? Guys, who dropped pants? Magnus? Did you drop your pants? Can you not wear both? The flak and the normal ones? Oh, no you cannot. Okay, well. Extreme break risk for Pandora. Oh, Pandora, I'm so sorry. I, I need to make you better. How do we do that? Well, now we're gonna have some decent meals, at least. Uh, we need to hunt down stuff as soon as possible. Get bones, make a table and chairs. Although we could just use wood for the time being. I mean, we have a lot of wood. You know what? Fuck it. Let's make it out of wood. I don't like the idea of making my table out of wood, but... So be it. Let's make uh, a wooden. Yeah, that's right. That's what it's called. A wooden. We can make a pill for bed. <laughs> Love it. They gave, they even gave them weird names. And we can make dining chairs. Alright, they don't really have to be quality builds, but it would be nice if we get our skilled people to do it. Can I now feed the cat and tame it? Oh my god, there's a warg nearby. Did the cat die? Oh fuck, did it die? No. It's right there. What the fuck? Where is it? Can I force? Can I mount? Can I tame? 
What did they eat? Diet. Vegetable. Raw meat. Corpses. Seed. Animal products. Live plants. Meal. Processed food. I mean, it looks like a can. Wait, do, does it need like a specific amount of animal things? Like uh, uh, some animal skill? I don't know, maybe. I mean, my animal skill is... I had a gecko that lasted for five minutes, so... I mean, probably not that good. Alright, what are you guys up to? Okay, you are eating packaged meal while you should probably eat... Oh, we don't have other meals. Okay, these priorities need to be somehow changed, I guess. Smith and Taylor and Craft, for now they're secondary. Because you need to cook, my man. Oh, we don't have ingredients. Okay, okay, you know what? Magnus, let's go hunting. Wait, where are the alpacas? I need you to go hunting, man. Not mining! That's not a priority. Why are you mining? Where is it? What's mining? Mine. Fuck, it's, it's three. Priority three. That's it. That's right. That's how you do it, guys. Alright, grab all the alpacas, haul them urgently, no storage space, what do you mean? Can we not store them in here for now? Raw resources, food, allow rotten, no, raw food, oh wait, animal bodies is it, not, corpses, ah, yes, animal corpses, there you go. We need defenses, we need batteries. Yes, we know all that. And there's a raid incoming. A group of pirates from the Tomahawk Panthers have arrived. They are attacking immediately. It's Cantrell. A dude with a club. He's quite shit. He's um, staggeringly ugly. And he's incapable of dumb labor, so if we can even capture him, he's gonna be. He's gonna go into a freaking tank. Is he? Is he coming right now? Oh, control is coming. All right, everybody. Where are you? Draft it. Uh, I don't know where is he coming from. Probably up here. You know what? Get over here for now. Magnus, go there. Crane. Uh, no, Crane, I said. Crane, go there. And Pandora. Well, they'll just go behind a wall. Where's it coming from? Oh, no, it's coming from this side. Never mind. Crane. Over there. Pandora. Right there. Magnus, right behind the tree. Oh my god, he's down. Alright. Alright, he's down. We can rescue him. Let me see. Oh, he's even addicted to Ambrosia. Oof. He's dead in 12 hours. Can we even do it? How? Um, where am I gonna put him? Where the fuck am I gonna put him? I can't sleep with him. <laughs> can I put him in the freezer for now? <laughs> 
feel like that's a bad idea. <laughs> oh, shit, where do we put him? Damn it. I'll tell you what, I'm making... I'm gonna quickly make a very uncomfortable room. Here where the exhaust of the cooler is. So he's gonna feel like shit. Do we have the sandstone? Do we have a lot of granite. Oh, we have a bit of sandstone, I guess. I just need two walls, really, and a, and a granite door. And then we're gonna make a bed. A sleeping spot, maybe. And then I can assign for prisoner. Yes. Oh, shit. Should I, should I assign that for prisoner for now? Just so we can carry him. I guess for now. Yes. Who's the doctor? Pandora, right? Yes. Capture. No unreserved enclosed bed is allowed. Oh, fuck. He's dead in 12 hours, though. Can you at least medic him? Can stabilize. I cannot. Uh, I'm not wearing a medic bag. Oh, we need a medic bag. Shit. All right. You know what then? Pandora. Do it. Rain. Can you? Shit. Is he gonna die? I think he may die. Where is Pandora going? What? No, 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 no. Clear your non prioritized work. How do I do that? How do we not cancel? Yeah. Pandora. Nope, she's going there anyway. This may... You know what, Pandora? That might kill... That guy. 11 hours. Come on. Goodness. Jesus Christ. Magnus is on a foot binge. That's great. Magnus, can you at least work? No, not really. Crane, can you... Can you fucking build? Pandora, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Not food time. Not now. Later. Sorry, Pandora. I need you to finish this very quickly. Okay, that's for prisoner, and now you can... Is he dead? No. That in eight hours. Come on, Pandora. Capture. Okay, and then, uh, can you medic him? Already tending, all right. Uh, can we have, like, shit medicine for prisoners? No, you, you need that. Uh, I need to select him, I guess. Okay, no, we're already using shit medicine for them. Cool. Why don't we have power, by the way? Okay, is this is he gonna live? He's gonna live! Alright. That means... We will build a... Do we have it? We don't. We probably need to research it. Let's see. Research. Um, I have no idea where it could be. Biofuel refining? Solar panels, water mill? Is it somewhere in here? Magic. Writing, occult research, industrial age, bees. I don't know where it is. Mending. To repair items. Um, I thought it was after electricity. Bio biofuel? Could it be biofuel? Biofuel refining goes into bone refining. 
Geothermal, packet meal, solar panel. I don't know how to build them. I know they're in here somewhere. Wait, are there... Is there a tab that I'm not looking at here? Security? Bees. Power. It should be in power. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we need... Maybe we need something I don't have at the moment. But I don't get it. Where's the research? Batteries? Oh fuck, we can't even make batteries right now. That's bad. Cannot be here somewhere here, right? No. Mm. Prosthetics is not there. Animal prosthetics, don't think I need that. Door research. Prison containment, that's nice and all, but it's not what we're looking for. The Millennium Line furniture for Rimkia and the Rustica furniture for Rimkia. Paradigm production, arcade? No, magic, it's definitely not in magic. Writing, it's definitely not in writing. Uh, it's not in the occult stuff, is it? Bees? No. It's gotta be here somewhere, guys. I'm not seeing it, maybe. Can you see anything that is like... A tank where I can stuff a person in? Nutrient paste dispenser. No, that's not it. Um... It's not in production. It's definitely not in storage. Furniture. No. Oh, we have some cool stuff though, like fancy telescopes and chandeliers and stuff like that. That's pretty nice. It's not the Rim Kia. It's not the bees, is it? No. Power. Should be here in power. Does it get unlocked when I unlock electronics? Hmm. Well, it's not here. I don't really want to keep him around because he's going to eat a lot of food. I need a research table as well. I need to start some research. Damn. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I thought... I thought I had them somewhere. But if it's not here, occupational clothing? No, devil strand, pemmican, smithing. No, that's for weapons, for sure. We do have electricity already, microelectronics. Could it be? What is bone refining? Allow the use of nanopolymer refinement to make plastil out of steel and calcium. Hmm, interesting. So unfortunately, I don't know which mod all this is from. So I can't really tell you. Menu. Can we look at the mods?
Am I missing something here? Are there more tabs of research? I don't know. I actually have no idea. Anyway, I have 52 alpaca meat. Can we now tame that freaking cat? <gasps> what the hell is that? Yo. Yo, what is this? An eerie tree. Okay. It makes weird noises. All right, nothing to be afraid of, I guess. Ready to harvest. I'm not gonna harvest that. Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Ferrets. Just go away. Okay, I don't want any trouble. Is this ready to harvest? Yeah, that looks like it. Oh, these are ready to harvest. So, Pandora is about to break, by the way. She's acquired a grimoire. She's recreation deprived. Unsect environment. She's tense. Slept on the ground. I need to make beds. I need to make more beds. Luckily, Crane is about to butcher more animals, which means more bones, which means more beds. Bone beds. Yeah. You know what happens in bone beds, right? Can I actually make bone beds? Bed made of bone. Yes, I can. Oh, they look good. Look, it's good bone beds. Major brick risk. Alright, it's really hot by the way. It's 32 degrees. It's 71 in Cantrell's room. I think I'm about to kill this guy of heat stroke. Maybe it was not a good idea leaving him in there. He's gonna die of heat stroke. Shit. Well, maybe it'll give me time to move him somewhere else. You know what? You know what? Let's make a door right there. And I'm gonna put a fucking sleeping spot on the ground in that. <laughs> well, that's gonna be his hole now. Perfect. For prisoners. Right. Remove that. Somebody go pick him up. And bring him to the actual... Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Is it... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god, I'm a monster. Oh, yes. I just don't like it. All right, so what are we doing here? What are, what are we looking at? I need to hunt more stuff. Possibly stuff that doesn't fight back, like these. Hairs. And rats. Sure, why not? There's a crop. Crops are coming along nicely. I need to start making uh, walls and defenses. Do we have blocks? We do, kinda. What is this? Slate. Let's haul the slate. Are we making slate blocks? Yes, we are. So... Yeah, I'm gonna start making slate walls over here. This is all complex steel, by the way. That's not bad. Uh, let's 
go like this. Slate. And we're going to do it like this for now. And maybe we can put the door right there. Because the thing is, with the defenses I've seen people doing, uh, you leave pretty much a door open all the times, and if the enemies have a clear path to your colony, they won't go in... They won't try to burst through a door. So it should root them wherever you, Whoa, wherever you want. Good job. Wait, are you... Did the fairy just ate my freaking... Oh, look, the steel! Nice. Oh my god, that's a panda. That is a panda. Amazing. Magnus is carrying a rat or a turkey. Oh my god, there's more steel. What the fuck, guys? <gasps> okay, that's a timber wolf. That's dangerous. There's more steel down here. Yikes. What is happening? Cantrell has gone berserk. Adora is repairing the door. Has he tried to break it down? Uh, Pandora? What is that? Oh my god, what is that? That's a big fat ass. A Galatros. What the hell is a Galatros? Throughout every world flow the tale of old. A creature with untold might and an immeasurable height. Strength that matches can't copy. Power that so called gods can hear say. Beware, beware, will be foes. Beware the wrath of the Galatros. Wow, it's 99% wild. This is so hard to tame. Oh my god, look at that fucking thing. What is it? I hope it's just gonna, you know, pat. Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Control. Control, you fucking idiot. Why is Magnus so slow? Is it the uh, old gunshot wound? Efficiency 89%. Yeah, it kind of is. Control is slowly going back to his hole. Wait, where is he going? Guys? Did you just say hi to Control? Pandora? What the fuck is happening here? Hello? What is happening? Is he just leaving? Guys! Pandora? You fucking stop control? Pandora's not drafted. You know what? F just fuck off, control. Just fuck off. God damn it. Go tell your people about the hole. Okay. Okay. So, what is happening here? We need to submit. We need to make the church. So, let's make the church over, around here. Out of granite. What is this, by the way? This is all granite. Can we mine it? Actually, can we mine everything around here? All of this. And this. Okay. Damn. We, we really need to start... 
like making our bedrooms. Maybe I can use the, the natural wall for now. We have so many things to do. We need more people. We really need more people. I guess the hole was not good enough for control, so... Yeah. <laughs> oh, also... Let's make those. Jesus Christ. Nature is ruthless. Look at this. An otter just killed a freaking ferret and he ate it. And you know what? He's missing body parts, but this is fresh. So just go pick him up and, uh, you know, chop him up. There you go. That's how you do it. You steal praise of other animals. We have four ambrosia, by the way. Oh, that's cool, I guess. I don't like that there's a boom rat wandering around my base. Uh, can I expand my home area? Whoa. Okay, we're going a little bit off track here with the home area. It's gonna be like this, and then like this. For now. I don't know what these people are trying- Oh my god, that was so fucking scary. What are these people trying to do? What are they going- Oh, they're hauling. I don't know, I see. I mean, I did tell them to haul urgently. This thing is... spooky. The hell is that, by the way? A mushroom? That's cool. Man, we have a lot of work to do, don't we? They are going all over the place. Trying to haul what? I don't know. What was that loop? Why would you do that? You spend the whole day l just hauling useless things. Instead of working around the base. That's not good. Come on, Pandora. You are set to construct. Prioritized. I definitely need batteries. Is this working well, at least? I think so, yeah. I need to expand this area again, down here. And then I need to expand this area, down here. And maybe we need to remove that. <laughs> We have a random door right there and nothing else. I'm glad that we do. I don't know why he's putting that thing there. Okay, that should be good enough. Why is this thing hanging out in my base? That is scary. I don't want him here. Okay, are, the, are you guys... D oh, that's really cool. What is it? A fishing mouse. Neat. Should I try to tame some random shitty animals? Just to train my... Um... Just to train my skill. Like, what if we tame a tortoise? It requires level 16 animals. Magnus has 3, alright. It says here that we can tame the cat.
Cannot tame. Cannot tame. Cannot tame. Why not? No usable food, it says. What does he eat, though? I mean, we already... No, it's eating... I don't know. I don't want that thing to die, you know? It's very... It's very valuable. All right, look, they're finally building the walls. This door can be held open, I guess, for now. Wow, is that your speed of mining, Magnus? Did you fall asleep in there or what? Jesus. See, I feel like at some point my food is gonna spoil. Because, um... This room is not refrigerated. My refrigerator isn't working. We need to set research. Speaking of, let's make batteries. Instantly. And let's start making... Uh, I guess we can make chairs for our benches. Where is it? Uh, furniture. Let's make... Prayer pillow? A stool? Let's just make a normal dining chair, okay? That one, that one, that one, and this one. We have wood for now. Oh, look at that! We have a wall! Okay, so we're not gonna have to get attacked from there. That's fine. It's now summer. Great, so it's super hot. We probably need some cooling in our bedrooms at some point. It's still 25, it's not the worst, but it could be better. The wind is picking up, luckily, so our freezer is working. This thing is sleeping in my backyard, and uh, what the hell, dude? Like, seriously, what's this? <laughs> that is fucking scary. That's what it is. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Man, what a missed opportunity with that guy. I would really, really like to know how to make those tanks. The bioreactor. Really don't know. It's not in the research. It's nowhere near the research. Oh, we built that. So, what is that? Granite? Alright. Build a copy. Over here, over here, over here, over here. So, that is gonna be my church. We can have a little... Re Let's just say it's going to be the church and the magic area. We can have like um, like a side room here for praying and worshipping. And then we can have the benches around here. Let's make a bone door. Yeah. That way we definitely know. I need biofuel refining research for the reactor. Biofuel refining, okay. Biofuel refining. I mean, it's a mod. I don't know if it's... Incapacitated refugee request. Chuk is a 73 years old herb world entrepreneur. She promises to join you if you rescue her. There is a group of three men hunting pebble mitts wandering nearby. I think we have to take the chances here. Is this the end of my colony already? 
Oh, wait. Do they want me to go and rescue her over there? Right. Looking at the Steam Workshop page for a mod called Bioreactor. I'm guessing it's the same. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I guess that's it. Weird that it doesn't say anything in here. I guess they couldn't modify... The description somehow. But I guess we'll queue that research then. After batteries. We need batteries. We need to stop. About. New lovers? <gasps> Magnus tried to romance Crane by comparing him to a sharp trunk. <laughs> Crane became aroused. <laughs> Agreed to become Magnus' lover. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, now what they want to sleep together because he's assigned them a double bed. You compared him to a sharp trunk. Oh, buddy. Have you seen some wood around here lately? Because I did. Oh, boy. I need to make them a bedroom then. Jesus. Look at Crane making the moves on the cult leader. Or do you think it's actually Magnus that is uh, enthralling poor Crane using his charm by pointing out his uh, trunk? <laughs> Jesus. Oh boy, oh boy. All right. Let's have this area over here. Alright. That's gonna be my church. So, for now... I'm gonna build that table. Out of bone. Yes! A bone or cane research table. That sounds about right. Look at Crane, how quick it is to build. Oh my god. <gasps> Occult beginnings! Stirred with new possibilities, your colonists have caught some interest in recent occult events. The beliefs can be tracked in the needs menu. This belief will slowly decrease over time. Using occult research, you can strengthen the cult and the beliefs of your colonists until they've found a cult of their own. Fund. Oh, I like it. Let's make a... Um, let's make a bone square dining chair right here. Uh, Pandora, are you locking Magnus in the wall? I hope not. Okay. Oh! Disease? <gasps> Crane's got the flu! Oh shit, this is really bad. Oh crap, this is really, really bad. You need to rest, my dude. Pandora? Can you tend to Crane? Or does he just need bed rest? Okay, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's give priority to bed rest. Damn, he's my cook. Shit, I hope we're not gonna get attacked now, because it's gonna be a disaster. Crows! A single crow watches your colonists. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep. Nothing weird with that. 
Aha, ha, ha, ha. Yikes. Okay, well, I mean, no big deal, right? <clears throat> I don't know what that means. That's that's part of the Lovecraft um, storyteller, I believe. Goodness, this is really bad though. We have one. Oh, look. Can be tended in four hours. Oh, look, Pandora's feeding crane. That's nice. Crane should just sleep. Magnus and Pandora are eating together. Oh, that's nice. Magnus is definitely explaining his cult idea to Pandora. And of course, we're getting raided. Grace. Grace is raiding us. Great. Just what we needed. Okay, I want to see where they're coming from. Are they coming from... They fucking coming from the base here. Oh shit! Sorry, Crane. I need to. Colonist is true to me. Yeah, I know. Shit! This guy's really fast. Okay, he's not fast anymore fast anymore. Great. Dodge. Ow! Pandora! Oh! He's down! Oh! He's down! Let's see. Uh, he's not terribly... He's gonna die in seven hours, but he's not... Is he good? Incapable of nothing. Magically gifted? Oh! <gasps> Dude, oh, we can we can try to recruit this guy. All right. Shit, we need to. Oh, for fuck's sake, can I quickly put a sleeping spot? I don't know. In here, and assign him to a prisoner, and then Pandora can rescue him, capture him. Crane, go. Back to bed. Magnus, you're fine. Do whatever. Why is he clearing cleaning the blood? Do you not have anything better to do? Plant cutting, growing, hunting, entertain and warden. Shit, you really don't. I guess you can handle a little. You can haul. You could do some research, to be fair. The skill is very low, but at least you do have an interest. And in mining, I guess that's also something that we could do. Pandora? Oh my god, I forgot to de-draft her. Is he gonna survive? Oh shit. Okay, I think he's gonna survive. Yeah, he's fine. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I nearly forgot to heal him. Pandora is going to heal Crane of... What? Did he get hit? <gasps> oh my god, he lost a finger. Oh, yikes. An index finger? That is terrible. I hope he's not, uh, he's not shooting with his left hand. God damn. Pandora, are you hurt? You just got bruises. Alright. That's fine. Where is it going? 
Where is he going? What the fuck is this guy doing? What the fuck are you- <gasps> He's trying to tame the cat! Oh, you tried! You tried! You know what? I saw you try. That was good. There's an infection. Okay, my conduit has short-circuited. That's fine. But the problem is, who's got an infection? Grace. Mm, that's bad. That's really bad. Can she survive? Hopefully. I probably don't want to waste good medicine on him though. Her. Him or her? Grace Fuller, female. I mean, she's using some shit medicine, but... I mean, the infection has been tended to. But is it gonna spread? Grace has gotten sick from infection. Infection in her right lung. Oh, fucking hell. Well, I hope... I just hope the infection is not gonna spread, you know? That's all I want. The flu has been tended to. It looks like he's... ...going alright. He's developing an immunity. Faster than he's getting sick, so that's good. If we keep tending to him. But the problem is we still have only three people. It's really hot now as well. It's really hot. Uh, the conduit that broke, where is it? No, it's fine. See, it's still connected. It's absolutely all right. This Magnus is collecting our foods. This is gonna feed us for the longest time. The problem is, we are out of food, and Crane is our cook. Can somebody be a, a secondary cook? Ooh, you guys are terrible at cooking. You know what, Crane, I feel like you need to get up and work. I really don't want you, but you need to cook. Don't spread your germs. But then we definitely need some meals. Uh, we can make a stockpile, by the way, right? Take the best stockpile. So I think to make the cook working faster, you can make a one dot stockpile right there. Assign to priority critical. And use it for meals stockpile zone 5 so in details you can take to best stockpile which is probably zone 5 let's see see he's making them and he's putting them right there and then you can probably hold them Wait, no. I mean, it, maybe this doesn't have to be critical. It's just a bit normal. There's mist. An oppressive fog has rolled in, thick, steady, and sinister in its approach. Stepping foot within may dislodge lesser minds into space between spaces. Oh, shit. That sounds bad. Colonists needs treatment. Crane. Yeah, in a moment. We need food. Is 
See, and people will drop it. Oh, see, look, he's dropping it nearby. Major Burkris con Pandora. Why? What's your problem, Pandora? Wow, she is paranoid. I have to get out of here. There's something in the mist. I felt something watching me in the mist. Was it real? And she's sleeping in the heat, so we definitely need... Okay, d dude, dude, Crane, you can you can stop cooking. You can just go and rest. <laughs> Holy shit! So potatoes don't really go bad. Yeah, it takes twenty nine days in this heat, so that's fine. But we are gonna be in trouble. Also, Crane is using up all my medicine. A friendly AI from your past named Charlon Whitestone has sent you a message. Yeah, okay, this is for the victory, yeah. Okay, you guys need to haul. Except Pandora's gonna go fucking nuts. Caravan request. I can't do it. I'm in so much trouble right now. Where is Magnus? Oh, he's trying to tame the cat. Please. Tame failed. 23% chance. I mean, you know what? I'm not even mad that he's going so far out to tame the cat. Because that is very important. Like, that cat will do... Uh-oh. A summit crab. The ground trembles as a massive hermit crab living inside a huge boulder drags himself across the region. The gargantuan boulder myth is in hostile, but it is almost impervious to gunfire and will lay waste to anything in its path if not stopped. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh my god. What the hell is that? Well, hopefully it's gonna get the fuck out of here without wrecking my base. He is actually trampling over trees and everything. Please don't destroy the component. Oh my god, it broke the component. Looks like he's leaving. Oh! He killed something. He trampled over a squirrel. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna trample my cat. What the fuck is that, by the way? A wild spawn? What the hell is that? What's another variant of the wild pots that have adapted to life outside of swamp and rainforest? Since they have less access to water rotting vegetation, they grow much less and are much less dangerous. Wild pawns are the less resistant to gunfire but retain the weakness to fire of the bigger brethren. Wild spawn reproduce asexually by releasing clumps of spores every few weeks, so its children are completely wild and independent from it with no concept of parenthood. Although risky, the wildspawn can be hunted or farmed with a small amount of edible fungus. Ew, it's a, it's a, it's a little fungus creature. Oh, okay. He uh, almost killed a poor little bunny. He's gonna break all those chunks. Yep. Yeah. He's breaking all those as well. Oh, turtle, please. No, oh, turtle. Can you just fucking leave now? Is he leaving? Oh, he's left. No. Is he? <gasps> Cat, please. Oh, he's left. Oh, fucking hell. Alright. Alright, this is looking good. Well, I mean, not really, but the food situation is fixed. When we get our cook back, it's gonna be fine. Crane? How are you doing, buddy? 80% immune. You're gonna be nearly there. Uh, the, in the next day. The mist is passing, so everybody should stop freaking out, hopefully. God, this is a, such a bad start, though. I can't really build anything, because I have only two people, and they can barely keep the colony running. You know, I think I'm gonna have to assign, I don't know, a Pandora to cooking. Because if they run out of food, it's a problem. Grace is here also eating my food. I guess I'm gonna try to recruit her. I 
I mean, not that she's great, but she's a backup cook. She can construct, she's decent at shooting, and also she's magically gifted, so you never know. Look, he's, uh, he's trying. Low mood? What do you want? Don't you like your shitty room with no bed? And a creepy... Bone... Altar? <laughs> For human sacrifices? I don't know what's wrong with it. Alright, you know what, Crane? I think you can start working. <gasps> oh my god! Yes! It happened! Guys, it happened! We have a housekeeper cat. It's male. It's called Terry. Okay, okay. We need... We need... Home. Yes. Assign this to home. Okay. I need to start building the other wall, by the way. We don't have enough granite. Is there any? What is this? Granite. Paul. Whenever you can. Oh, look at the cat! Oh! What's it doing? Nothing. So he should be already, like, tamed and fully... Oh, wait, do I have to tame it? I think it's... I think it's special. It doesn't need to be tamed. I don't... I don't know. What's it doing? You know what? I don't care. Cargo pods. What's in there? We got some spider silk. Sure. We should finish batteries. <gasps> Finally. Okay, let's go for biofuel refining. And let's make a battery power, I guess. Steel batteries. Yes, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put it... I'm gonna put it, like, in here. This is gonna be my battery section. Yeah, seems fine. I'm gonna have to make a door there. Bone door. Not enough bones! Oh, fucking hell. Wooden. Okay, Crane is looking good. Let me see. He's immune. He's developing immunity to the flu, so he's fine. Okay. Okay, we're getting back. He's sleeping. Okay, he doesn't have a bed, by the way, so we need to stop having that as a medical bed. Because he's sleeping in the sleeping spot in the fucking... You don't want to get... Oh, for fuck's sake. Crane. Gotta be joking, right? Why are you sleeping? <laughs> are you are you not hot enough? Like what is the deal here? Magnus is going insane, that's fine. Is the cotton ready? Nearly. Magnus is in a daze. You know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Um is the cat even cleaning? I guess we need to train him. Obedience. I think. I don't know. I don't know what we have to do with this cat. I thought it would automatically clean, but he's not doing it, so... No, don't release. Are you fucking crazy? Alright, let's see if uh, hauling is... It says he needs obedience, so maybe we need to train the cat. You know what? Deconstruct that thing. Okay, we have a battery now, so we're starting to save some power for... the times where the wind doesn't really work. Battery's low, but that's fine. The wind is not blowing anymore, and that's not good. We need solar panels. Although, you know what? We don't need solar panels. We need to... We need to have that guy as a human battery.
That's all we need. Caravan request. No, thank you. Rainbow petals. Oh, Spectago. This is nice. So you can make tea out of Spectago. And I think it's a very good... Um, it's a very good item. It, it does increase your happiness without making you addicted. I think. I'm not sure. Also, where is... The food stuff. Storage. There we go. So we can make food baskets and medicine baskets. Meat trays as well. Let's make a food basket out of food. Oh, we can't make out of wood. Can we? Yeah, we can. Let's make it here. God, that's a lot of wood. All right. It doesn't need to be quality job, right? What is this? That's some rainbow petals. Used for the tea, I guess. Can we use them? Can, can I actually... Brew spectacle tea! Oh, look at that! Really in bulk. Do it forever. Just make tea. Make spectacle tea. And you guys, you know what? Uh, do we have a policy for that? Can, can I can I do it? Manage drug policy. So we can make a new policy. We can call it T. And we can disable everything. But we can allow... A scheduled spectacle tea every day. No, every let's say every two days. Every two days. Choose. And then we can just tell them to have tea. Isn't that great? And they're going to be a little bit happier. God, especially Magnus and Pandora, they really need it. Okay, so look at this. This will allow uh, food. Raw food. Oh my god, look at... Okay, Crane just had the tea. The whole body is warm. Because he's got the spectacle tea. That's nice. It's nice to have one cuppa. See? He's not he's, he's happy. He's quite comfortable as well. He's got very low expectation. I feel like you are the perfect colonist for my place. You guys are in need of light though. Uh, don't we have new stuff, new lighting like candelabras, tallow wax. How do I make it? Do I make it here? Make a scroll. Interesting. What do you think I'd make tallow? Oh, make wax. I need meat. Alright, so let's say... Let's do until I have 20. Although we do need meat. Fresh meat. Okay. In the meantime, we're also going to extend the other wall here. And then we're going to lock this place with a granite door. So that's perfect. Nobody's going to come through here. Nobody's going to come through here. I'm going to leave this open so they're going to come through this place. Yes. And then I'm going to set up my defense system. Another caravan request. Jesus Christ. What is Magnus doing, even? Can I see what they're doing? Wandering. Okay, he's wandering. Are you... Idle? Starvation? Who's starving? Magnus, what the fuck? Oh, he was, he was in a psychotic state. Holy shit. Oh, look at my cat. Aww. 
No, is this not? Raw resources? Plant matter? No. Oh my god, look at the tea! That's amazing. Spectral could tea. I don't think it goes bad. I could make a cabinet here in the kitchen. For the tea. So. Okay, he's trying to recruit Grace, which is totally fine. He's also trying to befriend the cat and train it, which is really good, although he failed. But that way, I think he's training his own handling, which is still a three. I mean, he sucks at it. Uh, oh, can we have a sleeping spot for my cat? How do I do it? Is it in furniture? Animal sleeping spot. Wait, is there a, an IKEA one? No, let's go for a normal animal spot then. Animal sleeping box. Animal sleeping spot. Let's let's have him sleeping inside. You know. Okay, dude. I don't know why you're going there though. You are. You should be assigned to home base, right? Zone, home. Oh, wow, that's not good. Yeah, no, don't go there. Also, do not go there. Also, do not go here and do not go outside of this area. Look at my domestic, sir. I mean, cat. I mean, it's a cat. Look at it. It's, it's definitely a weird cat. I don't know what's it doing. It's just wandering. Okay, Pandora is doing some research, which is really nice. Okay, and he's building more stuff. Why is no one um, mining, though? Because I... Who's the least busy person here? Okay, Magnus is not... No, I guess Crane could do some mining. God, Crane has so many things to do. A psychic drone for males, so my males are gonna be angry now. Great. It's fine for Crane, he doesn't give a shit, but Magnus is very um Yeah. Should I Do I have that for uh, clear all and just allow chunks? So they will carry everything inside here, which is a lot better. You know what? I love magic items as well. So they will slowly move the things here inside, which is Probably a little better. Man, I love magic. Fucking hell, that scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you, Hexa. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, what is this? Migo meat. Don't know what that is, but it's meat, so... Haul it. Oh, look at that. Look at that nice battery. Right, are these guys too hot now? They look like they are a bit too hot. Let me see. Um, oh my god, this guy has minor pain, disturbed sleep, darkness, taste tense, he's got a dull barrack, he wants to sleep with Crane, he's in a sightly environment, he's hungry. Oh my god, he really needs a room. Okay. We need to start prioritizing these, uh, these rooms. Holding three, mining three, let's do hole four. Crane, you have more important jobs to do, honestly. Also, why is no one using these nice looking wooden food baskets? 
The cat is not cleaning. Fucking cat. Okay, we need somebody to do some mining. So, who's the best miner we have? Crane and Magnus. Okay, you guys. You need to do some serious mining now. That's it. Uh, somebody needs to... Uh, yeah, Magnus, you know what? I'm not gonna give you one in mining until you are done collecting your shit there. Because we need this cloth. So please haul urgently. No storage space, what do you mean? Manufactured. Text oh my god, there's no manufactured in here allowed? What the fuck are you crazy? And there's a heat wave, so we definitely need a freaking um cooler in here. Damn it. I hope that's enough. Because I use a lot of steel. The heat wave is terrible. There's 41 degrees. Oh my god. I'm getting like flashbacks now. Okay, Pandora, I need you to prioritize the cooler. Because we need to keep it fresh. And then I need you to uh, build all, all of these. All of them. Man, I'm gonna have to... No, Pandora? What the fuck? P Pandora? Pandora? Pandora's sleeping. She doesn't give a shit. Guys, what? You need warm clothes. Pandora, what the fuck? There's 41 degrees. Sanity loss. Oh god, she's going insane. Heat stroke initial. They all have heat stroke initial. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh my god, these rooms are fucking boiling hot. We need more coolers. And a vent. No, we don't need a vent in there. We just need a cooler here. And a vent. Yeah, we need a vent in here in the kitchen. But holy shit. <clears throat> this is bad. Oh, it's a freezer even. 25 degrees? <gasps> we need a diff- Oh god, we need even another cooler here. Okay, the door needs to be held open. Because there's 90 degrees in that room. Ambrosia sprouted. Oh my god, there's so much. Alright, guys. We are in serious trouble. Pandora, why are you building instead of... Why are you mining instead of... Constructing? What is going on here? I wish you could clear... Don't stop digging. Stop digging at all. You know what? There you go. We really need you to start working on that. Why are you keep? Why do you keep digging? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna remove your mining from you. You can't do it. She's doing it anyway. Am I crazy? Is she trying to build a conduit? She needs to mine them. Is that what's happening here? She's going insane. 
I think that's the problem. She's going insane. Okay, we hold everything in there. Uh, let's sign other people to mining, so maybe they'll do it. Not like this. I can actually make her go mad to clear the sanity loss. Feels a little bit bad, I'm not gonna lie. So what is all this? Granite, you say, huh? Are we getting any of the granite back, by the way? It's so fucking late. Who's a good who's good at constructing? Crane, you have ten. Go make conduits. Ambrosia binge, Pandora. Are you f we don't have Ambrosia to binge on. Well, we do have those four, I guess. Oh, look, she got a tea. Nice. It sounded like she popped up a can of soda. <laughs> but sure. I mean, that's fine. I can't tell it what to do now. She's going crazy. She's eating more. She's drinking all the tea. And Grace has a medical emergency. What happened? Grace? <gasps> Heat stroke. Well, I think we're gonna lose her. I don't have a second... God, fuck, who's my reserve doctor? Crane. And there's a meteorite that just landed where? Oh, is this it? Wait, is that the meteorite? Okay, then. Crane? Can you... Please capture Grace? She's gonna die of heat stroke. Mining company? It's a caravan. Holy shit, there's people. Jesus. I need to set a caravan spot so they can park outside. And we can start doing some shenanigans with them. So I was looking at how to deal with them and you can use them for all sorts of things. Like if you can somehow pull enemies into them, like even beasts men hunting beasts, they will engage. Like, this door is not even constructed, for God's sake. And you know, if they die and they drop items on the floor, they're yours. You can rescue them and release them for standings with their faction. Like, there's all sorts of things that you can do with them. I think Pandora is gonna die. If she doesn't snap out of it and eat something. She may be starving by now. She's on Ambrosia though, so maybe she's fine? She ate all my Ambrosia. My meat is spoiling. Because of how freaking hot everything is. Okay, Pandora is fine now. She's finally constructing. Oh my god, look at that. She's building. Are we out of components? No, there you go. Okay, so what are we looking at here? It's 51 degrees, guys. It's 51 degrees. 
Grace has extreme heat stroke. Yeah. Oh, the temperature inside there is finally fixing itself. Okay, let's have this at minus 10, I guess. It's using a lot of power, though. Everything is using a lot of power. Oh, okay, that's working. If I can put a door right there... Not made of granite, maybe made of wood. That's gonna stop the temperature for from um, merging with the two rooms, and maybe that can actually... Oh, it's working, look at that. Oh my god, it's working. Oh, okay, okay. Grace has died. Well, that sucks. I guess we're gonna... I guess we're gonna bury her somewhere. Fuck. Let's just bury her somewhere in here. I don't even care anymore. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. That's not cool, man. That's not cool. Let's build a grave. <laughs> a grave for Grace. All right, so the temperature is a lot better. Infiltrate has changed. <gasps> no, Magnus has lost the magically gifted. Oh no. Oh shit. The heat wave is over. All right, turn that off. How do I turn them off? Like that, I think. I'm gonna keep that running though. Oh god damn it, Magnus! I really needed you to be gifted. Okay, now it's freezing in there. Can we not? Can you turn that off. Is it off? There you go, now it's off. Alright guys, somebody need to... ...build that grave. And then somebody needs to... ...haul Grace, urgently. Magnus, are you seriously... ...working in there with a dead body? Alright, there you go. Alright, rip Grace. I guess it was to be expected, though. I mean, I am definitely not ready to host anyone. The research is going, however. We need see if we had the fucking biofuel, we could have used Grace for power. At least we could have made something out of our life. Also, am I running out of food here? That's not very good. Oh, corn is ready though. Okay, hold on then. Uh, mining Magnus. Nope. Stop mining, go harvesting. God, you are... You're the worst, aren't you? All right, where's my... You should be... <gasps> what the fuck are those things? Meadow Ave. Cool, look at them. Are they tameable? No, they're very wild. A large flightless bird. With colorful feathers, mostly found in the plains eating fruit and berries. Meadow A's naturally attract the eyes and hands of those who wander by. Many forget that underneath the majestic feathery coat is a wild animal with razor sharp beak and claws to match. They are amazing mounts, much faster than horses, and properly trained, they can be ridden into battle at incredible speed. 
This interaction needs the giddy up combat mounts mod, which I do have. Ooh. Ooh, shit. That's cool. But unfortunately, we have a terrible, terrible animal handler. Hey, look, though. We almost finished the outer wall. That's good, right? Look, temperatures are looking good inside the colony. Even in the freezer, it's fine. I probably can turn one of these off now. The cat, for some reason, is sleeping outside. Can I assign this? Terry, why are you sleeping outside, buddy? A wanderer joins in. A villager named Estes has arrived and joined in the colony. <gasps> He's a bartender. He's willing to contribute, but will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want Estes, you can banish him. Sell him into slavery or simply kill him. Oh my god. We have another guy that just randomly joined. Let me see. He's got a little step scar, but otherwise it's fine. He's kind, nervous and gay. That's okay. Good at melee, decent at crafting, amazing at social. Oh my god, do we, do we have, do we have a new cult leader? How are you with animals? Oh my god, you're even better with animals. Right. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Work. Obviously, one, 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 two, or two. Okay. Uh, okay, so you are a better warden. Oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Actually, Magnus is skilling up real fast. But you are definitely good at entertaining. You're better than him at handling, so I'll tell you what. You're going to handle our animals from now on. You're terrible at hunting. You're terrible at cooking. Although, not that terrible. You're better than Pandora, so you're going to be our reserve cook. Uh, hunting, sure, for, let's say, he's no good constructor. No good at growing. You can do a little bit of mining, I guess. Uh, you can do some smithing. Yes, why not? Yeah, artistic, you are... Yeah, well... You can do the crafting. And the hauling. And for now you can do the cleaning as well. In fact, you can do a lot of haul of hauling. And you can do all the crafting from now on. Which is really nice. Because then Crane, which is very useful, can do other stuff. Also, look at this. We finally mined out these things. All right. We need to haul some of these things. What do we have? Slate, sandstone. That's a lot of sandstone. Okay, let's get the sandstone. We're going to make our bedrooms out of sandstone. We oh you you need oh shit I just realized he needs some clothing though so I'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna make a roof area over here and we're gonna make a pent tailor bench right there outside outside really yeah for now I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this area very soon anyway. Let's give him a chair. And he can make his own clothes. Wait, did he just drop his pants? Look at him though, immediately going to work. Oh, what a solid guy. Estes. Should we rename Estes? Robbie Estes? What, do we, what, what should we call him? If I remember how to do it, even. Let's give him a good name. Let's call him... Can I, do, do I have like... Is there like a Lovecraftian name generator? Love... 
Craftian. I think it's just normal names, <coughs> though, isn't it? Like in in his novels, he doesn't use any weird names. He just use people names, right? But we need a we need a good sounding name. Can we have a I don't know evil person sounding name? <laughs> Let's see. More than graves. Sure, you know what? You can be graves. Mr. Graves, welcome, welcome. Can you do any constructing, by the way? You, you're bad at it. You're really bad at it. The problem is now we have to feed another person and we are already kind of low on food. We can hunt these alpacas though. And a turkey. We don't have weapons, that's a problem. Look though, we nearly finished the wall. We have only one thing left. So now she's going to quality build a chair. But not the table. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so the other wall is finished, finally. Is that door finished? Oh, she's doing it now. She's amazing. Pandora. Okay, that's great. So then we can set up our people here when we get attacked. Because they will come from this side. It's raining. Is the corn ready? Did we harvest the corn? What happened to the corn? We don't know. Oh, she finally made the chair. Okay, we need to make some clothing. Uh, we can make... <laughs> Do we want to make a sailor uniform for Graves and a sailor calf? That would be hilarious, honestly. I mean, these things are bonuses. Look at that. Social impact plus 15. And research speed plus 15. A fedora. Social impact. A trench coat. Oh my god. Can, can he be naked with a trench coat on? <laughs> Oh my god, can I make a deer skull mask? That is so cool looking. And it's 50 bones. Uh, do we have 50 bones? I don't think we do. We're gonna have them soon though. Hey, my souls! Exclamation mark Baal. What are you trying to do? A bone armor. Alright, you know what? Let's make a deer skull mask one time. Whenever we have enough bones. Holy shit! Okay, that's fire. Um, yeah, that's not a problem, I guess. That looks like a problem. No, it's raining. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh goodness, it's very late, guys. I need to go to bed. What am I doing here? Just loving the game, I guess. Why is Gra oh shit? I f you know what? I forgot to make a bed for this guy. Well, that's not good. Um, what do we have? We have a lot of slate. So I'll tell you what. Let's make some slate. Like that. And these can be some bedrooms, for now. Like this. And we can make some... 
Send some doors. Not there. God damn it. Like this. His graves really need a bedroom. Everybody needs a bedroom at this point. Look, we have more bones, I think. Somebody killed an animal. I don't know what the bones are. That is bird skin. Uh, probably not that many bones then. Oh, look at Graves. Actually trying to do something with my cat. He trained it. Oh my god, he's training the cat. It's working. It's it's doing it. Oh my god, good boy, Graves. Such a good boy. <gasps> There's buffaloes. Alright, look at this. We're butchering alpacas and bringing them home. For. Oh, for the bones. A roof has collapsed. Oh shit, what happened? Where? Oh, careful now. I remember what happened last time, so please don't fucking kill yourselves. I mean, I've lost like half of my colony to roof collapsing last time. <gasps> oh my god, Graves is making his Dios call mask. That's incredible. Okay. And, uh, you know, after that, you can make... A top hat? No. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can make a top hat. And I'll tell you what, though. Let's make something... You know what? Sure. Let's make him a sailor uniform. I think that's gonna be fine. And then some pants. Can we have sailor pants? I don't know what they are, but... I don't think we can. So just make normal pants. And uh, what are we gonna use? Um, we're gonna use... We have cloth. We have spider silk. How many do we need? 80. We can make a camel hide. Yeah, let's make a camel hide. 110. Alright, so that's done. And the pants need 40, so we can make them out of light leather. Go. There's a lot of butchering going on. Wow, my... Oh, shit. We are a bit full on... Hmm. If I... Yeah, we need to expand here. This is a problem. Can I put, like... Uh, didn't we have... Storage? Yes. Um, so, like, pallets. I think they can stack things. So if I make it there, we can temporarily move the cloth somewhere else. Oh, careful. Oh, careful now. Am I a brick risk? Um, we are out of tea. Do I want to plant some spectago? I think so. Let's make a, a zone, a growing zone. Look here. For the for the tea. Spectago. And it's now officially fall as well. Nice. Graves is still sleeping on a chair, which is not nice. But I think we have enough bones. A mad ocular jelly has gone mad. It will attack anyone. Oh, what the fuck is this? Uh oh. Uh oh. What is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. I 
Um, that's not good. That's not good at all. Is he coming this way? Oh, shit. He's corrupting everything. Look, he's making alien trees with eyeballs and alien plants. This is some creepy or horror shit. What is this? The rim is filled with creatures that might be product of either alien ecologies or more often an ancient human genetic engineering gone awry. Rye, sorry. The ocular jelly, however, is so fundamentally weird that some scientists have speculated about possible extra-dimensional origin. Or perhaps it is just some cruel, if elaborate, practical joke. It seems to have some biological similarities with the Aerofleet, being filled with a buoyant gas, but its effect on terrestrial ecosystems are incredibly unusual. The creature releases clouds of reddish gas that is harmless to animals. However, when flora is exposed to it, it mutates and turns into a strange specimen that shares 98% of its genome with the jelly. This flora is almost inedible, and its relationship with the ocular jelly remains as yet unexplained. As a floating creature, they ignore terrain movement costs. And it looks like it's coming my way. Holy shit. Okay. People? If this thing try tries to even come here... I need to fucking shoot it. Oh god, it's trying to come in, isn't it? It's, it's coming in. Shit. This is bad. This is really bad. It's infecting my crops. What the fuck is this bullshit? It's dead. It's fucking dead. What the fuck did he do? Oh my god, what the fuck just happened here? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know what? Cut everything. I don't even know what the fuck this is, but cut it. I don't want it in my colony. Oh my god, this is so bad. This is so freaking bad. I don't even know. Did we butcher it? Oh fuck, we butchered it. Wait, is that gonna be some weird alien meat? Oh, what the fuck are you holding? Oh, that's some alien meat. Ocular jelly? <sighs> yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think we're gonna eat that. Imagine all the planets now suddenly turning into jellies and resuming the journey. I'm assuming you meant the plants. Oh, I don't want to see that. Oh, please no. Is anybody even cutting these plants now? Guys, I'm a bit... You know, let's go check down here if something bad happened. I mean, something bad happened there, but I don't know. Alright, it looks like everything is fine. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh my god, look at Pandora. What is he building, even? Send some doors. Oh, look at that. She did it. Alright. Alright, let's make some nice bedrooms for these people, yeah? Let's have some, uh, ooh, some hex paving. That, that looks cool. Or we can have... We can have... Can we have bone? Bone floor, blackened. How much bones do we have? We have plenty of bones. All right, let's make it. Oh, do you see? Look at Crane. Oh my god, look at his mask. It's amazing. Look at that. Holy shit. Wait, why did he make it though? I made it, I made it for graves. 
Okay, well, you know what? Fine. <laughs> That's alright, I guess. You can wear it if you want to, Crane. In fact, you know what? We could all have some creepy masks. Why not? Uh, you know what's very crucial though right now? Making a bed. A bed is what we really need. Can we make an IKEA bed? Um, room key. There's a pill for bed, but it kind of sucks. Let's just make a normal bed out of bones. We don't have a lot of bones. Let's make it out of wood for now. You know, just so we have the extra room. Because Graves is going slowly insane by just sleeping in the... Is in minor pain, sleeping on the ground, sleeping in the cold, sleeping outside, disturbed sleeping. I mean, he's got all, all these issues are pretty much just sleep related, so easily fix it, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare my defenses here, and then I'm gonna leave. Okay, so we're gonna put the door here. This can be like this. This can be like this, like this, um, nope, fucking hell, so we can put it like so, and then like so, so they will enter through here. We can lay down traps in this little corridor right here, okay? We can put sandbags here to slow them down. This is what I saw on the internet, by the way. And then we put, like, all the uh, the embrasures over here. I don't know how to build them. Embrasures, there you go. So we can build them right here, so we can shoot, shot, shoot through the embrasures at them while they try to come towards me. Although, it should probably be on the other side, shouldn't we? Because they need to come through here. Oh. Shit. Yeah. See, they need to come through here, so then they can walk all the way here, and while they walk, we're gonna shoot them. That's nice. Oh! Magnus, it's finally clearing up the shitty alien stuff. Oh, oh, why is that? Redwood. Hmm, interesting. Sailor uniform is poor quality. Can you even, can we wear it? I know it's poor, but Jesus Christ. Oh my god, Graves, you look so sexy in that sailor uniform. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Oh man, I love this game. Alright guys, I'm just gonna drop a save. Oh boy, right, the followers of the tentacle, that's a new save. And we're gonna continue this at some point. Uh, I will decide what to do with Surge. Uh, maybe I'll try to kill the boss a couple of times on my own. Maybe I will level up on my own, I'll see how it goes. If we, if we could finish the game, it would be nice. I mean... It's just a question of killing that boss. It's not like Recore where I have to farm for like 10,000 hours to get all the prismatic orbs or whatever. So maybe I will try a little bit and if I can kill it, good. If not, we'll see. I mean, I, I still want to play Remor though because this is so fucking good. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much for watching guys. Have a good day, have a good night. I will see you all tomorrow for now. Goodbye.